Dave here, accordion cool here, and yes, we're doing another one. I know, you can't get rid of me, right? But here we go again, here we go again. First song, really going back for this one. You know, normally we go back to the, to the beginning of the 20th century. We're not even going to be in the 20th century for this one. Nine, uh, 18, 1869, 1869, that song was written, it's called Little Brown Jug, which might give you a little clue as to what kind of a song it was. Anybody, anybody in the audience, in the, in, in, nobody got, it was a drinking song, an 1800s drinking song, Little Round Jug, Don't I Love Thee. It's amazing, things haven't changed. Things haven't changed much in almost 200 years. Why do I play that song, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Because Glenn Miller, remember Glenn Miller, the Glenn Miller big band, big orchestra? He took that song and made a big band arrangement. They had a big hit on it, 1939. Little Brown Jug, and there you have it. So that was 1939. We're going back one year now to 38. A fellow named Hoagie Carmichael. You've heard me mention him many times. Kind of a singer-songwriter, piano player, kind of did a little bit of very, did some acting. Uh, I've mentioned this before, too. Remember the... Uh, the old TV Western Laramie, remember? It was a, it was a, a father and his, uh, his nephew, I guess. Or, yeah, a fellow and his nephew. And, uh, you know, he had a, a hand that worked for him. And then had a fellow around there called Jonesy that did all the, you know, all the chores and everything. Well, Jonesy, that was Hoagie Carmichael. Yeah, Hoagie Carmichael. So he did some acting, too. So he, he wrote things like Georgia on my mind. That's a, that's a Hoagie Carmichael. This is a pretty tune, also written by Hoagie Carmichael, or else I wouldn't have gone through that whole dissertation and wasted two minutes, called The Nearness of You. Don't get too close. Nearness of You. <laughs> Thank you. 
of you. That's how I can tell whether or not you've had a show. No, never mind. Pretty, pretty tune. Hokey Carmichael, 1938. Well, this next tune, actually, the melody itself was popular a long time ago because the melody is the same melody as a song called Moon Over Naples. Son of a gun. Did I give any clue? Probably not. 1966, fellow named Al Martino. Remember Al Martino? He had a bunch of hits at that time. He had a hit on this song with its new name and new words and new lyrics. The song is called Spanish Eyes, and it's as was many of the uh, songs done in that era, the mid-60s, early to mid-60s, done with a little bit of a Latin sound. I've mentioned this before, that way, you know, if you've got two young ladies that go to a party and they don't have dates, they can always get up and do the cha-cha. So here's a little blue, blue Spanish eyes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Eyes. I guess that song, uh, the Spanish Eyes version, was written a little bit before it came out, but uh, the fellow that uh, had a big hit on Moon Over Naples, which of course is the same melody, I guess he had lawsuits going on, all kinds of stuff like this guy can't do a joke, huh? Anyway, 1944, I think I've done this tune before. There was a song, well, a lot of songs. This was a French song. And uh, the words and lyrics were written in, uh, oh yeah, French. So somebody in America kind of liked it, thought they'd translate it, do it, you know, in English so us folks here could understand what it was. So when they finally got everything translated, the title came out to say, Dead Trees. I don't know if that's going to be a big hit or not. So, Cooler Heads prevailed. They rewrote all the words and lyrics, and it became Autumn Leaves. Now, I've played this song for a long time. I kind of like it, didn't like it, liked it, didn't play it, didn't play it. And then I heard the jazz guys get a hold of it. Oh, boy. Now, I'm not going to attempt to do it anywhere near like what Corey, Corey Passatura would do, but... We're gonna give you two two little two little versions here of Autumn Leaves. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tree, uh, autumn leaves, autumn leaves. All right, so there's two kind of kind of versions of that song. Some people like it slow ballad. Some people like you know the real up tempo, jazzy thing. Now you folks, hopefully, have been watching me for quite a few years now. I'll give you a little quiz. Which one do you think the old guy likes best? Huh? Are you, are you, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. All right, all the people here that think the ballad I like best. Okay, and all the people here in the audience that think I like the up-tempo best, oh my goodness, oh, you guessed it, son of a gun, all right. Well, this next, you know, a lot of people, not a lot of people, every once in a while some folks say, hey, Coach Dave, that's me, how long have you been playing the accordion? Well, I'd hate to say how long I've been playing it, but back in 1952, it was a movie. It was called Lily. And the song came from that movie called Hi Lily, Hi Low. Now a mother took a young strapping lad to see that movie and he fell in love with the song because it was being played by an accordion. And he asked his mother, Ma, can I take accordion lessons? And she said, no. But cooler has prevailed and that's where it all began. Now, also, you've probably noticed I don't play a lot. Well, I don't play any waltzes. Guess what? High Lily High Low is a waltz. However, 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 I play it as a jazz waltz. Jazz waltz? What's that, Coach Dave? Well, a jazz waltz is kind of like, it's like what we call a two. Like a regular waltz is like one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, you know, that waltz, one, you know. A jazz waltz is like one, two, one, two, you know, kind of, well, jazzy. So here's high lily, high low as sort of a jazz waltz, but not, I mean, it's not, with a jazz waltz, the drummer, you have no idea what he's doing. So we'll tame it down just a little bit. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Gentlemen, I mentioned a little earlier, and you've heard me mention many times, Corey Pesatoro, the great three-time jazz accordion world champion. I was talking to him about this song quite some time ago. I says, Corey, you know, when I put the drum machine on and I get the I, I don't know where one is, you know, like one whatever of the beat. And he says, well, he says, you know, he says, if you have to hear that, it's like you, you, you're you playing with training wheels. That was Jazz Waltz with training wheels, because I gotta hear one somehow, I mean, so. But anyway, that's, give you an idea of what a Jazz Waltz is, sort of, kind of. And staying, staying with the theme of trans, translating waltzes into something else. This song was written by Henry Mancini, who after, he, if he ever hears me play this, he'll probably be spinning in his grave. Uh, for a movie, 1961, called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Audrey Hepburn, big star of that movie. I believe she sang the song. Called Moon River. But guess what? It's a waltz. I mean, waltzes are nice. Don't get me wrong. They're nice. They're, they're, they're nice and cute and pristine and dainty. And we don't do dainty here. So what do we do? Well, we just, you know, jazz it up, put it in 4-4 time, and... <laughs> See what happens. So here we go. Moon River, but not really Moon River, but sort of kind of Moon, well, moon River Coach Dave still. Here we go. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
River, sort of, well, Warren River, Coach Dave's way. And you know something, the old clock on the wall, or the one under the monitor, whichever one I'm looking at, is telling me that, you know, we're just about out of time today. And, well, I thank you all for watching. Did a couple few things a little bit different today. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, uh, if you didn't, don't don't bother, because my, my, my show, my game, okay. All right, so no, I, I, if you ever have any requests, I get, don't know, you, you know, feel free. Austin always sticks up the email at the end of the show, so feel free if you got to request a song or something, uh, email me. I'll see if I can dig it out, and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll play something for you. So, And as I always say, bring those young'uns in. Bring them in to watch the show to listen to this great music that they are not getting exposed to nowadays. So, well, let's just take it home with just a little bit more of Moon uh, River. Here we go. <laughs> ¶¶ 